Glasgow Coma Scale is mainly used for evaluating or assessing the conscious level of patient. It also helps in evaluating the prognosis of a patient especially when there is traumatic coma. So this Glasgow Coma Scale is considered as a part of neurological examination and we have three components in this Glasgow Coma Scale and there is a mnemonic in order to remember the components of Glasgow Coma Scale and the mnemonic is EVM electronic voting machines right you remember EVMs right so similarly we have a mnemonic EVM where E stands for eye opening V stands for verbal response and M stands for best motor response right so the reason why I asked you to remember it in this pattern is because each component has a different numerical scale. For example, eye opening, we give a maximum grading of till 4. Whereas in verbal response, we give a maximum score or grading of 5. Whereas best motor response, the maximum score would be 6. Right? 4, 5, 6. So it's sequential. So I framed this mnemonic so that will not have confusion like which component has 4 and which component has 5 and 6 respectively right so the mnemonic is EVM eye opening verbal response and best motor response now let's look into the details of each component right so starting with eye opening so as I mentioned the maximum score given is 4 right and the minimum score given in any of the component is 1. So the score 4 is given when the eye opening of a patient is spontaneous. And the score 3 is given when the eye opening of patient is in response to speech. In response to our speech or in response to the operator's speech. And 2 is given when there is eye opening in response to pain. And 1 is given when there is no response from the patient, right? So we have 4 for spontaneous eye opening, 3 when the eye opening is associated with speech, 2 when the eye opening is associated with patient's pain, 1 when there is no response, right? Now coming to verbal response. So in verbal response, as I mentioned, we have a maximum score of 5. So we have 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. So score 5 is given when the response is oriented. And we give the score of 4 when the patient is in a confused state or when the patient conversation is confused, right? So confused conversation we give a score of 4 and score of 3 is given when a patient uses inappropriate or incoherent words right and a score of 2 is given when the patient omits incomprehensible sounds right and a score of 1 is given when there is no verbal response right so oriented speech confused conversation inappropriate or incoherent words incomprehensible sounds and nil so these are the components in verbal response and coming to best motor response so as I mentioned we have six components or a maximum score of six so starting with six we have a minimum score of 1, right? So 6 is given when the patient obeys our command or the command of an operator. And a score of 5 is given when patient localizes painful stimuli. So when he is able to localize painful stimuli, then a score of 5 is given. And a score of 4 is given when the patient withdraws to painful stimuli. So when there is withdrawal 
to painful stimuli a score of 4 is given and a score of 3 is given when there is abnormal flexion and a score of 2 when there is extensor response right and a score of 1 when there is no motor response right so obeys localizes to painful stimuli withdrawal to painful stimuli abnormal flexion extensor response and nil so this abnormal flexion we call it as decorticate response whereas extensor response is called as decerebrate motor response it means decorticate response or abnormal flexion is nothing but as you can see in the image the patient when he is lying down there is flexion of his arms which lie on his chest and there will be clenching of his fingers along with there will be extension of feet and flexion or inward rotation of the feet or toes right so this is called as decorticate response right in case of decerebrate response right so decerebrate in the sense extensor response so you have e in the extensor decerebrate you have ce right so so that you can easily remember right so decerebrate response extensor response as you can see in the image when the patient is lying down there will be extension of his feet and legs and they'll be rotated outwards and the characteristic hallmark sign here is the elbows will be extending and also the head will be arching backwards right so this position is called as decerebrate response and when a patient has a decorticate response or decorticate motor response he falls or he is given a score of 3 in Glasgow Coma Scale best motor response and decerebrate we give a score of 2 right so that's the extensor response right and the minimum score in Glasgow Coma Scale, if you observe, the minimum score which we can give to a patient is 1 plus 1 plus 1. So the minimum score would be 3. Whereas the maximum score we can give or the score given to a fully conscious patient will be 4 plus 5 plus 6 which mounts to 15. Right? So this is important. So to summarize, Glasgow Coma Scale, it's mainly used to assess or evaluate the conscious level of a patient and also acts as a prognostic indicator of that particular patient who is in coma, right? And we have three components and a mnemonic to remember these three components is electronic voting machines EVM where E stands for eye opening, V for verbal response, M for motor response, best motor response. And we have scores starting with four, and 5 and 6 respectively for EVM right and as you have seen the various components we need to memorize these components and we need to score accordingly right so these are some of the important points pertaining to Glasgow Coma Scale.